Hey everyone, welcome back. Those that are new, welcome. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I appreciate you all. Today we're going to be looking into a case in Australia. Erin Patterson, a, a woman that invited her ex-husband in-laws and a couple of their friends over for lunch and she made a well beef wellington a mushroom pie now it turns out that her husband her ex-husband didn't turn up that day her in-laws and a couple of their friends did and three of them have died One is critical in hospital, the pastor. He was a pastor of the church. Now, they believe that the mushrooms were the poisonous ones. And they're not sure yet whether she did it on purpose. She is saying that half the mushrooms she bought from the grocery store and the other half she bought from an Asian store. They were dehydrated mushrooms. She was caught taking her dehydrator to the tip. And she said that she panicked and that's the reason why. So what I'd like to do is... Her energies towards her ex-husband, her energies towards her ex-in-laws. Was this an accident? And will there be justice in this situation? So... Without any further ado, let's get to it. What were Erin Patterson's energies towards her ex-husband, please? Now, keep in mind that he was meant to be there that day. Sorry, I'm, I have to turn the deck around. But he didn't turn up. So what are her energies towards her ex-husband, please? He also claimed that I think it was like a year beforehand, he ended up in hospital with uh, stomach problems and nearly died himself. So okay, what do we have? We have the five of cups. The star, the nine of cups, the sun, and the King of Wands. Okay, here with the Five of Cups, it's showing that um, she was grieving her loss. There was a loss here. She was in despair over her breaking up with her ex-husband. She was hoping that they were going to get back together here. But he was restless. I don't believe that he was interested in getting back together with her for some reason. And this may have caused her also to be restless. She knew that her hopes and dreams of being happily married were gone. I don't believe that he wanted to get back with her here. Do 
Give me more on the Five of Cups. More on the Five of Cups, please, Spirit. There was a lot of regret here. Thank you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Death card. Yeah, her, con her contentment for life had been taken away here. This was showing the death. A death because he ended the situation. All her security... had been taken away. She was at a loss. Give me more on the sun, please, spirit. Happy marriage, give me more on the sun. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, she wanted to work things out with him. I believe the Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. I believe she may have asked the in-laws over that day and her ex-husband to try to work things out with him, but he didn't turn up. He wasn't willing to work things out with her. It seemed that this may have been planned. What were her energies towards the in-laws, please, Spirit? We have the Ace of Cups, security, a helping hand. She didn't believe that they were helping her at the time. She wanted more from them. Give me more on the Ace of Cups. And her energies towards the in-laws place spirit. We have the King of Swords. Her energies were cold, abrasive. She was demanding respect here. She didn't believe that they were helping her enough.
it was like they may have did they may have cut her out didn't want anything to do with her after they after she separated from the husband she was wanting to work things out but he wasn't interested And this could have built up a lot of anger within her. Towards the in-laws as well, because they didn't seem to help her through the separation. What intentions did she have that day, please, Spirit? What intentions did she have with this lunch? We have the Knight of Wands. Three of Cups. And we have the Tower. She was planning, planning a catastrophe here, something catastrophic. Something that looked like an accident. Unexpected. They weren't expecting this. She's got them together for lunch. She was feeling restless. Very restless energy here. On top of the death card. She was planning this tower. Wanting it to look like an accident. This did happen very quickly. Three of them died within a few days. An important letter here too. She may have received... She may have received the divorce papers. But the get together was to plan the tower here. Now she got caught getting rid of the dehydrator. She took it to the tip. Did she just panic? Or did she use this dehydrator for the poisoned mushrooms?
the High Priestess. Her that knows but doesn't speak. The Eight of Wands. Speedy news. Communication. Quick action. A conclusion. She believed by getting a, getting rid of this dehydrator, they weren't going to be able to Proved that the dried mushrooms she's saying she got from the Asian shop, she dehydrated herself. She has bad secrets here to be revealed. But she's not talking right now. She knows... She knows what actions she's taken to cause the tower here. She planned it. She wanted to get back with her ex-husband. He wasn't up for it. She knew it. She was at a loss. So she wanted to end his life. He didn't turn up that day. And she was also angry at the in-laws for not being there for her. Through her loss. Keep in mind that this is a tarot reading. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. It's all speculation. But in my opinion, she, she has planned this. She got everyone together to cause the tower. And she knows what's happened, but she's not speaking. What should they be looking at to be able to determine her guilt? What should they be looking at, please, Spirit? Thank you. Now, the Two of Wands. The decision she made. The Seven of Swords. Liar. She's lying. They need to be able to prove she's lying somehow. Her movements. To or near water, it says here. A short journey. I believe this may be them finding the dehydrator. They do believe she's lying. There is a crossroads here. Maybe the tip might, might not have been very far from the road. A short journey. They believe that this is what she wanted to happen. She planned this. In this deck, this is the wish card.
So I'm not sure whether they're going to be able to get any sort of evidence from this dehydrator, whether or not there's still residues from the poisonous mushrooms. I believe that this may be some way that they might be able to determine whether or not she's done this or not. Apparently plants, anything living has DNA as well. So I'm not sure whether they're able to get a DNA from the mushrooms. I know that they've been able to take the leftovers which she claims she kept for the kids. Now, I think she may have baked two pies here. She said she did give the kids some, but she took off the mushrooms. Now, I believe that if this was the case, even though she took off the mushrooms, I'm sure there still would have been poison through the whole pie. So I believe that the leftovers wouldn't have been the poisonous pie. And being five people at the lunch, she was expecting six, but the ex didn't turn up. She would have baked more than one pie. And keeping the leftovers... I believe that that other pie she may have eaten, although she's claiming that she ended up in hospital for the night, she may have faked it. Was she really sick when she spent the night in the hospital? Was she really sick? Ten of Wands. Putting down the burdens. Overextending herself. Struggling with what she'd done. I believe she's made a decision to go to the hospital that night to cover up the tower that she's caused here. Now she went there saying that she had stomach cramps and diarrhea. Well, that's not really something that they can prove either way. They're just taking her word for it. She may have got the news that the others have fallen very sick And she knew that she needed to cover her own butt, yeah? Is there going to be justice in this situation, please, Spirit? Will there be justice? Will she be charged with this crime? Is Erin Patterson going to be charged for this crime? That just flew out.
We have the Strength card, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Well, she's definitely keeping her mouth shut here. There is a strategy in place. To try to prove her guilt. There is a lot of frustrations going on here. But they know there's more to it. I don't believe that they're going to get her to admit to it in any way. Will they be able to... What are the law enforcement's energy towards her? We have the Nine of Swords. They believe she's guilty. They have a strategy in place. They're not talking about it at the moment. They need to keep their cards close to their chest. They are feeling frustrated. Because I'm not sure whether this pie that she made, that she had leftovers, was the actual poisonous pie here. I doubt that she would have kept it. But she's obviously made two pies. They believe she's guilty. They believe she knows exactly what's happened. They believe that she's planned this. And I do believe they think that it's because the husband wasn't prepared to get back with her or wasn't interested in her. What will the outcome be? What's the outcome going to be, please, spirit? There's still one man in hospital fighting for his life. And three have already passed away. What's the outcome going to be? We have the King of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Pentacles in this deck is showing visitors. 
Five of Swords, wanting to win at all costs. She had the upper hand here. There may be mental issues, mental problems. A fight to the death with her visitors. More travel. And it says here, turning your back and walking away knowing nothing more can be done. So at this time, they're struggling to find the evidence To pin it on her and it may just be all circumstantial is there enough circumstantial and evidence to be able to link it all together to get a guilty verdict will she be charged because it's one thing that the police believe something it's another that they can prove it Is there anything else I need to know in regards to this situation, please, Spirit? Is there anything else I need to know? The world. Tying up loose ends, involvement. She was involved. But at this time they need more evidence to be able to pin it on her. They know she was involved, they know she was guilty, they know she's not talking, they know it was planned. And it may take a while. To be able to dig deep into how to collect up any evidence. They're going to have to look into all the relationships. The relationships with the visitors. Her mental issues. Where she went. Her marriage issues, her trying to get rid of the evidence, looking at where she may have picked them from. I'll just pull out another deck here for a minute. To see if there's anything else. That could help this case in any way. Is there anything else. That could help this case in any way. Thank you, Spirit.
We have the Four of Cups. Something has been overlooked. The Two of Pentacles, see? This could be the Two Pies. I don't believe they have the poisonous one. This is what's been overlooked here. The Hierophant. This could be the pasta that's actually still in hospital at the moment. Maybe you might be able to tell them something. Whether the pie tasted funny, whether her whether there there was two pies, whether what her Behaviour was like that day. The Queen of Swords. If this pastor lives, he might be able to shine a light on what her energies were like that day. And it didn't seem... Well, she comes up as the Queen of Swords. So that's a bitch. You may be able to say, yes, there was two pies. Something definitely has been overlooked. So we pray that this pastor is able to shine a light on the lunch that day. Praying the pastor heals and gets well soon so that he can shine a light on what happened that day at the lunch. Love and light. 